What's up guys, welcome to your 55th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically have this list that we set up in our preferences actually refer to an actual array that we're going to set up because we already have it uh, referring to this array called list and we don't actually have an array called list. So all we're going to do is simply set that up, nothing too difficult. So we're going to go under our values folder right here and this is where we're going to set up that array for the most part. This is going to be pretty simple, nothing difficult. And again, we have this array called uh, list, so keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, new XML file. And we're going to call this one, it's under our values, as you can see, it's checked right there. But we're going to call this array because, again, it's referencing something called array list and that's what this is going to refer to so we're going to say array.xml hit finish and now anytime we use this array kind of uh, folder it's going to refer to here so again we're just going to go into the XML and set this up as you can see it, there's resources within its brackets so or those are the brackets that we're going to hold some information so that's pretty neat. Uh, it's just kind of a resource folder for the most part. So what we're going to set up is a string array. And as you can see, we have the options here, integer array, string, string array, item, whatever we want to keep in this kind of resource folder for the most part under our array um, XML file. So we're going to set up a string array. And what we're first going to do is we're going to name it. So we're going to say name. And this is going to be equal to list. Again our preference tab is accessing the array called list and that's what this is going to refer to this list so we have to give it the name list or whatever you guys name that so it uh, actually has a list to refer to and then we're all we're going to do is set up some items um, within this string array so we need to finish off our string array that's all we need to define it as and then hit enter a few times so we can work within the string array and add some items to it so we're going to say item and then you don't even have to set up the item like we generally would we just need to kind of put something within both item and the close item uh, brackets there and we're going to call this I don't know option one and just copy and paste this four times or something however many times you guys want and then just change the variables Or something like that save it and then we have this string array called list which is being accessed by our preference tab so that's pretty cool but let's say basically this is going to open a list and it's going to hold those four items within that list within our preference activity for the most part so let's say we want one of those items to be checked to start with and what we're going to do is we're going to set up something basically that's going to refer to the list values or the most part so we're going to set up something else called Android again this is within our list preference Android entry uh, values for the most part and we're going to say again refer to another array so we're going to say array forward slash values or something like that or L values L values and then what we can do is we can also set some numerical values to these items for the most part so we're gonna set up a new string array within our array XML and again um, just click string array and we also gotta give this the name that we just set up so name is gonna equal again L values and uh, close it off and put up some values within here again item and we're going to say this is item one and we're just going to copy and paste that four times and this will make more sense once we actually uh, once I can show you guys what this is actually doing but just as for now just kind of follow along and then once we run our application it's going to make a ton more sense as always so there we go we basically set up our list arrays 
and set up uh, entries which is going to be your list and entry values which is going to be kind of the options oh and I'm sorry also this entries is supposed to be at array from the previous tutorial apologize guys um, so just make sure you change that to add array and this one is also at array which is both referring to this array value that we set up for the most part and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial we're gonna work with these list items as well so have a good one peace